Welcome to River Channel News. I'm Rebecca Mariscal with the Star Observer. Construction continues through downtown Hudson along 2nd Street after a brief pause over the 4th of July holiday. Crews are working from Front Street through Hudson and up to 6th Street in North Hudson. You can still get downtown for shopping and dining during the work. Parking along 2nd Street is closed, but other lots and roads are available. And downtown businesses are open. The work is set to end in November. The St. Croix Valley Food Bank officially opened its doors on June 30th. Located in Hudson, the bank will serve more than 30 food pantries and backpack programs across four counties, including St. Croix County. The 22,000 square foot facility has increased space to serve the growing needs in the area. The goal is to provide 6 million pounds of food. Now, the center is looking to stock its shelves. Those interested in donating or volunteering can learn more at stcroixvalleyfoodbank.org. St. Croix County Public Health is encouraging vaccinations as Delta variant spreads. The variant has been shown to spread more easily and faster than the original strain. As of July 14th, just over 47% of the St. Croix County residents have completed vaccination, and nearly 50% have received at least one dose of a vaccine. More vaccinations means less risk of variant spreading, the department said, and a lower chance of future and more harmful variants developing. Vaccine clinics are held every Wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Services Center in New Richmond. Vaccines are also widely available at pharmacies and healthcare providers. As of July 14th, the county has seen more than 9,800 COVID-19 cases. There have been 72 deaths. The county is currently in a medium risk level, with public health advising those unvaccinated to wear a mask, physically distance, wash hands, and get the vaccine. The Hudson Senior Center is reopening in a new location this month. The center's new home will be at St. Paul's Episcopal Church on County Road UU. It will be open for grab-and-go dining starting on July 26. The county's ADRC hopes to open it for full in-person dining and activities soon. The Hudson School Board heard the results of its equity audit this month. The process did find gaps in achievement and discipline for certain student groups, including students with disabilities, students of color, students who are on free and reduced lunch, and students who are eligible for English language learning. The audit recommended taking steps including professional development, increased teacher collaboration, and more to address the gaps. The audit is one step in an ongoing journey to provide a positive experience for all students. The school board will review the recommendations from the audit and consider next steps in future meetings. The fifth Center for the Arts is being renovated. The building is closed for the summer as work is underway. The renovation is the second part of a capital campaign that began back in 2013. Work is focused on the entrance and open spaces in the center. The new space will be more contemporary and welcoming and make greater use of the community area. The FIPS will reopen on September 17th. The new season will kick off, bringing a variety of plays, concerts, and performances. Festivals are officially back. After celebrating the 4th of July at Booster Days, Hudson is preparing to party for a purpose with Riverfest. The event focused around the St. Croix River begins on July 20th. The multi-day festival features a river cleanup, prairie hike, Native American celebration, and more. Most events will be held at Lakefront Park, with some additional ones at the Phipps and the Carpenter Nature Center. For River Channel News, I'm Rebecca Mariscal.